Okay, now that I have shown you how to do the print and cut part for the style calendar, I just want to show you um, the other elements I used in uh, my file that I've got on my blog. So I've got the rest of these. They're really easy to match up. You cut this part uh, with one of your papers and this part with another of your papers that you choose. And when you assemble them, you just match up this little window and the brad hole and then the holes on the dials will fit under there, so it's really easy. Uh, oh, let me show you when I do the back. Let me change that to a white fill. I actually, for a little extra heaviness and to hide the mechanics, uh, I wanted to cut an extra piece from white to put on the back. And so this is a compound path. You can see that the holes are empty and you cannot ungroup it and so to get rid of these extra holes all I want is this one and this one I'm going to right click choose release compound path and that way I can select all those pieces and delete them and just group this together again and now I have a white piece uh, that will only have these holes and it will completely cover the mechanics in the back and so that's how you would do your third piece and probably a good idea to use a duplicate for that. Okay, so the rosette, this is just a file um, that I downloaded for free and I've got a link on my blog. This is another file I got from Carrie Bradford. Um, this one is an image. It's not a cut file. You can see these others are ready to cut. This one's just an image, so what I did was I traced it. Select trace area. I want that all to fill up with yellow. If you turn off the high pass filter, that works. You could move up the threshold a little bit, but we don't want it to get um, grainy and chunky on the sides. So go ahead and choose trace right there move the image out of the way and now you have a cut file that is able to be cut and I shrunk this down to be about oh four and a half inches wide a little bit more than two inches tall this I just typed the word life in the font of playbill Choose Playbill as your font, and there you go. I left it at 72 point. And so that's the rosette, the little heart flourish, life, and enjoy. All of those I just cut. Um, here was my silhouette, and then the little flags are part of the Teresa Collins die cut accessories pack. Um, but I'm sure you could do flags with your silhouette too if you wanted. So um, that hopefully explains how I did all the different pieces of this dial calendar. And if you have any questions, please let me know.